All right, so what we're going to do today is pretty much show um, how my demo works for the fingerprint authentication. I'm just going to go to GitHub, which is private right now because I don't want to release the code publicly. Um, so you just download the code collection and uh, open up as a collection from a zip file. That'll be this one. And so what we're going to do is pretty much use Anaconda um, because it's such a nice uh, environment where you can see the graphs all at once. I'm going to go to Spider and um, it'll be a nice way to run the code, the demo, and see the graphs at the same time. Of course, if you're using the regular usual Python IDLE, um, it'll just populate the folder where the code um, is generated. So here we are. Uh, we've got our demo and all of the files that are uploaded from the collection. And what we're going to do is simply run the code, the demo file code. We're going to run it and as in the instructions from the readme file you'll know that the first step is pretty much to call on fingerprint authentication algorithm and we will provide the file path on where the data is so right now the data is in this folder so i'm just going to copy the file path so I can provide it here in the code. And then I'm gonna say for the fingerprint, person one, image one, and the other one was one, two for the demo, so person one, image two. And there is an error here, and that has to do with the file path. So just make sure that uh, your file path is correct. So what we're going to do is clear this out, run it again, and uh, I have the original data set in the file folder. I'm just going to use that right now, uh, just for the sake of the demo, so we can move forward. Um, I believe it's in my documents. Okay, I think we should be good here. One, one, and one, two. And of course, as I mentioned, in Anaconda, you get to see your plots and your graphs beautifully in the same um, environment, the same area. It's right next to the console, prints out nicely. So this is a graph of fingerprint one ones, uh, Delaunay triangulation, and the fingerprint of one two. Zalani triangulation, and we have the data frames with all the data and information calculated. And it'll just take some time to compute because I purposely have printed these for anyone who wants to use um, the data set. Once the code is released publicly, you'd be able to use all this information for your research and enhancing. Uh, the efficiency of the algorithm. So for fingerprints 1, 1, and 1, 2, right, they would continue moving forward onto the next round, um, which would be merging triangles together to find the maximal click. So that's one way of running the demo. And uh, in the event where they would not go to round two, you'd have two fingerprints, which would simply print out not a match and I will just simply clear this out and run a quick example for you on a data set that I know is not a match actually let's see here Let's do, I think one, one, and two, two might work. 
might be the case where we don't get a match. And as you can see, the code is fairly uh, efficient. You know, without all the printing, it'd be even faster than this. Um, it's about 0 0.07 seconds on average running time. Um, so it's it's um, pretty cool to see. And there's the times for specific uh, parts of the code once you start to analyze the complexity of each piece. And so, as I mentioned, this is just a set which is not a match. And they're not authenticated. And that's it.